Hello, and welcome to Form First Podcast. My name is Laura. And my name is Peter. We are the founders of Form First Fitness app. This podcast focuses on the sport of indoor rowing. We cover topics ranging from health, training, injury prevention, and how technology can help us as athletes to get better while staying healthy. We boil down complex sports science topics, bring you the latest research from the field of rowing and technology, and also having some of the top sports specialists as our guests. Join us today for another episode of Form First Podcast, where we will be talking about, well, our app. Yeah, let's go. Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Laura. I'm sitting here with Peter and... Hello. And today we're doing it. It's finally here. The episode we've been really, really, really looking forward to do. And I'm super excited to talk about yes. it. Yeah, we're finally gonna... We've been delaying for such a long time, uh, guys, telling you, um, you know, about, about our application, about our product, what we're trying to achieve. And I'm super excited because I have been really, really holding back of, you know, we have been dropping nuggets here and there of what we do. Um, and what it is all about so far. The only thing we have said to our, um, our listeners, um, and everybody that kind of follows us around is that we have an application that uses, uh, a start of state of the art AI and computer vision to help athletes assess their motion. And I think it's a really great time to finally tell them what our application is all about, how it works, um, why do we think it's better than anything on the market, and maybe give them a little bit of insight of what is uh, coming into the, you know, in the future, what kind of other developments we're planning to do, and, you know, new features and so on. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So we, yeah, we dropped uh, little nuggets here and there, but yep. we, we were discussing it only in very general terms. And I think this is a good episode to, you know, dig in a little bit deeper about how yeah. about first what our application is and then how it works. Yeah, we have been saying a lot that we use AI and AI is a big buzzword. And I think yes. we very, very briefly explained that we use uh, visual intelligence as part of uh, the field of AI, which is basically uh, using computers to analyze image, assess what is going on. And in the terms of video, uh, we look at it as just a stack and a sequence of a lot of images and we put all those separate analysis together. Would you maybe just, you know, tell us a little bit more about why, you know, why, why, why AI? It's such a buzzword, but why AI for this particular project? Right now we are in a time uh, where the artificial intelligence is gaining so much popularity oh, right yeah, now. Definitely. And it's first of all, it's it's because right now the computers have enough computing power that we can actually take advantage of this. Yep. Because in the past, these models were often theoretical, but nowadays we can actually run them. And I think it's a great opportunity to finally start using these decades of research to yep. actually do something that's uh, valuable to yeah. to athletes. And we have mentioned in our episodes about uh, tech trends you know, within the sports uh, field. We have mentioned that, you know, um, computer vision started as um, just some basic analysis of edge detecting and so on. And it is definitely a field that has been going on for a long time. Um, but since the, as you said, the coming up of the um, neural networks and which were really, really boosted by the huge amount of data that was suddenly available and uh, kind of raising computing power uh, that more and more people had access to, it just became the technology to be. And I think uh, very often people uh, don't know how many parts of their lives, you know, AI touches and, and how great it is and how we can really, really lever it. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, um, and now we have the opportunity to take a really, really state of the art technology, really latest research, uh, just a little kind of, uh, side note here, but the technology and the research that we are using is literally hot, hot, hot from the press. Yes. It is. From 2019. Yes. It is and... literally. Literary, literature, oh, literally, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the newest thing on the yes. market. Yes, so yeah, the current technology that we are using is from 2019. 
And for most companies, that's way too recent to put into production already. But of course, we as a startup have the advantage of, you know... Yeah, to move faster. To move very fast. And we are definitely looking forward to actually incorporate even newer tech into our technology yeah, and stack. and our own research and yes. development on, on the field. Yes, definitely. Definitely. But uh, yeah, as you were mentioning, with the artificial intelligence touching pretty much everybody's life now uh, these days. And... We can see definitely after the rise of the internet, yeah. where data and big companies have a lot of data, they can now actually use this data to do predictive models. And of course, the first one to probably popularize it was Google yeah. and with their incredibly good search engine, yeah. which of course at the beginning started with just traditional algorithms, but now is actually boosted by a lot of other models. Yes. Definitely, and and there is just so much opportunities to 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 take this technology and really um, kind of I would say democratize it and and for a long time just as we said the big corporations had the data and the computing power and now this is not the case and we really aim to take this uh, really high end tech and kind of uh, make it more available and more accessible to people. Cool. Well. Shall we now just cover a little bit how it works? Because we threw in a lot of big words, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, terminology and just uh, put it in simple perspective of how our application works. Um, and um, yeah, and how do you how do you use it at the end of the day? You know, you, you get this technology as an athlete. What do you do with it? Yes. So our plan is to make a mobile application where you take a video ideally shot from 90 degrees to the rolling machine. And we process this video. Yeah. And we can give you all sorts of metrics. We currently have metrics like strokes per minute, maximum handle and seat speed. We have rhythm, seat rhythm, and seat stationary percentage. Yeah, this is already quite, quite a lot, I think. Yes, yes. And uh, I think it's very important to 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 mention that this is all coming from a video. Yes. So we don't need any additional equipment. Yes. And But also the way the video has to be taken, you know, have to fall the, under some specifications. Yes. As you mentioned, it has to be to the side, left or right doesn't matter, but it has to be at approximately 90 degree to the side. We are we also need for the best results the the your phone. Uh, or the camera to be lifted a little bit, um, you know, from the ground. So yes. we we generally say about fifty centimeters from the ground. It is important for the camera to be stationary. So basically, place it somewhere; it's not moving. Yes, that's actually a very important requirement. Yes, I mean we we tried uh, we tried running it on semi stationary, like for example, a person trying to hold it still, and generally it works very well. But I don't think we currently recommend it because we might run into some issues. Yes. So basically so. you wouldn't, you know, we, we currently cannot support uh, somebody taking a video of you from the front and then moving around yeah. around you. But it has to be, you know, static camera yes. from the side. So ideally, yeah, exactly. Just place the phone down on maybe slightly elevated surface so it's a little bit yeah, off the ground. Yeah, on a box, on a chair, yeah. if, you, if you're rowing from home or yeah, or something, make sure it, is, it doesn't move, it's from the side, yeah. and, and, then and, just make and sure, both of you and yeah. the rower are in the frame. Yes, That's exactly. Exactly. And then it's uh, our part. So you upload the video and we give you the metrics. Simple as that. Yes. <laughs> There's one thing that we need is I think it's worth mentioning. We need the length of the athlete's uh, leg. And uh, this we take in centimeters. But of course, if you want to share with inches, that is totally fine. So we need the length of the leg, heel to hip. If you're rowing bare feet, you can do a measurement like this. And if you're rowing with shoes, it's probably worth measuring it with the shoes that you normally yes. train in. And the reason for this is because... Um, as we would like to support different brands of rowers, we need to take, so we have to have some kind of a measurement, some kind of a, um, the knowledge of, of uh, the length of 
of the body and we yeah. have chosen this to be the leg so we can infer metrics such as the max speed and kind of produce them in a in a real metrics measuring them in meter per second yes and this we actually decided uh, taking this approach just to make sure that the application works pretty much on all type of uh, static rowers we sadly can't um, uh, can't support yet the dynamic rowers however uh, hopefully that will come uh, in the future soon. Yeah. yes Definitely. Cool. Hello guys, we're back here with Peter and um, yeah, we just want to uh, keep talking about our, finally, keep talking about our application. So exciting. Well, we did tell you a little bit about how, uh, what our application is all about, the technology that we use and how it works. Basically, what you have to do and how do you use it? You take a video uh, from a stationary camera to the side, you send us the length of your leg, heel to hip, and we perform the analysis. Yes. Well, of course, we had a certain motivation when we built the application um, and we wanted, of course, to create something that is not available in the market. We wanted to do something that is different, that is better. And we really wanted to help the rowing community to have access to those type of analytics that, you know, for such a long time have been just available to the top level athletes in the field. Of course, because of, you know, um, lack of resources for, you know, for amateurs or for athletes that are not yet at the top of their field. Um, and of course, the technology wasn't there for a long time. So all that kind of kind of analysis was done by by your coach or in a biomechanics lab, you know, using, uh, you know, uh, maybe force plates and all kind of fancy equipment to just get this data. And now due to, you know, the race of technology and uh, race of artificial, uh, artificial intelligence and what we are trying to create, we can actually do all this, uh, but without the kind of necessary, you know, the, the, you know, the unnecessary, I would say, um, equipment. Yeah, additional equipment that before yeah. it was very much needed. Yeah, I definitely agree. And well, at the beginning, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult for me to to kind of get started without equipment because when when I started or when I when we came up with the idea it was I I was looking at it from the more scientific point of view yeah. and I I definitely wanted some equipment yeah like normally how do you track motion well, you, you need some sensors. Yes, so either you can use a GPS sensor tracking, yeah. you can have uh, infrared cameras. Yeah, you can have accelerometers. Yes, uh, and uh, or or like a combination of all of them. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can also have, uh, you know, a light that uh, it stores the camera or something yes. that basically yes. helps us to achieve depth of motion and so on and yeah there are they have been products on the market that help you analyze uh, motion and they have all used some kind of a an equipment yes and we really didn't want to go in that direction because you know we didn't really feel that this would be much of an improvement on the current technology if you remember we were just saying well then, then it's just going to be another product that uses something you yes. know how is that better you know how does that help people more than what, you know, it's the product that are already out there. Yeah, and, and definitely at the beginning, I was digging very deep into things like motion capture systems that are that get used in, in movie making industry, yeah. for example, for capturing the motion of, of yeah. uh, you actors. know, those, those suits that people put on. Yes, and, exactly. You know, and, and they do stuff in front of green screens. And yes. yeah, and that's very similar, actually, in some uh, biome uh, biomechanical labs as well. Yes. They they use pretty much the same technology to capture the motion of yeah, the they, they get the athletes to put a suit or like place a lot of trackers on yes, their joints exactly. and so on. And Yes, and then they perform emotion, and that then that gets analyzed by by an equipment. Yes, and I think that's that's where the difference uh, of us comes in is that we don't want any of this. Yep. We don't want trackers. We want to be as easy to get started as possible. Yes, 
And also another thing, if you remember, one of the things that we were discussing when we were ideating on this topic was that we really, really wanted to make this super accessible. We wanted to make it accessible for anywhere, anybody around the world. Uh, we didn't want to have any trackers because when you have uh, any kind of additional equipment, you have to order it, wait for it to get delivered and yes. so on. And we wanted to be able to instantaneously help people with our technology. So this is why we also uh, decided to move towards a mobile application because we were like, all right, what almost everybody on this planet has, it's a mobile phone. All mobile phones have cameras these days. Um, yes. Let's use this. And it was pretty tough. I mean, I have to admit. Yes, there are a lot of challenges to overcome with, uh, you know, just taking a regular cell phone as and trying to replace motion capture systems. Of course, we're not going to replace the motion capture systems in movie studios. Of course, I mean, there, there's, yes, soon. exactly. This kind of technology definitely has its rightful place yes, in, exactly. in certain fields. But, but again, there's... Uh, you know, there are better ways that we can use this. Uh, yes. I mean, you cannot expect people to purchase these, these, these systems sometimes can, can cost thousands of dollars. Um, and this is definitely not something that your, you know, your average athlete that is trying just to get healthy and get a little bit better at their sport, you know, can have access to. And, it, and, and they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. I think, you know, that the, if there is a better way, we should go and, uh, you know, um, kind of go after it. And this is exactly what we did. We spent actually so much time, if you remember, into just figuring out. And it was just this relentless kind of, you know, attitude that no, no, we we either going to do it right. Yeah, we either going to do it. I remember. It, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was struggling a lot getting getting this uh, this this particular. I remember, part I was working. like, I was like just nagging you. I was like, no, not good enough. Not good enough. We're not going to have trackers. We're not going to have accessories. I don't want additional systems. I want people to be able to have access to it, to download it, plug and play, and then they get everything that they would get with a fancy equipment. You know, because this is what technology is. Technology, the, the aim of technology is to help us and to replace old, slow, and I would say more, less efficient systems and make them faster, more accessible and easier to, to use. Yes. And this is exactly the philosophy that we wanted to, to pursue. Yes. And definitely, even though it took me quite some time to get this technology working, I definitely think that it's better for me to spend you know, several weeks or months developing yeah. this and then have the feeling that I can all of a sudden help people who don't have the resources or exactly. time or, or never had access to such equipment or exactly. wouldn't even dream to have an access to such an equipment and yeah. get these kind of metrics. And really, from what we have seen, uh, very, very few, uh, I would say, like just the top tier of athletes uh, really know what those, um, you know, metrics mean and stand for. And again, the way we see it, it's because they have never been available to the mass. And this is exactly what we want to do. Yes. We want to take, you know, the kind of high end technology, high end analytics and just bring them to the mass and give them to, you know, everybody that really cares about, you know, learning more about their, their, um, their style uh, of rowing, their form, their technique and, and their metrics as well. And I think a lot of these, a lot of these uh, pieces of information were kept pretty much at the very high level of like, co like top level coaches and athletes. Yeah. And I hope that our company can actually bring down this information to the masses via education and mm -hmm. having these podcasts and bringing people on. Yes, and it is worth mentioning that, you know, the concept to monitors give us a lot of information. Yes. You know, they, they give us, of course, everything from strokes per minute to, you know, your force curve, uh, the meters that you pass, uh, you know, your, your stroke length for some of the newer monitors. Um, you know, of course, calories burned and so on and so forth. However, all those machines, of course, because all the information that they take is the, the, the information from the rowing. So those, you know, the machines, of course, can only focus on the, um, on the kinetics. On the performance. Yeah. Exactly. On the force produced while using the machine. And what our technology actually does is um, helping you understand your kinematics, meaning how you move meaning how do you move through space while you're producing this force on the machine where you are, you know, getting those calories and when you're rowing those meters, um, you know, as you kind of go through the motion. So if, if I would say, if we want to put it like this, that the machine shows you what you do, 
we aim to help you understand how do you get there? How do you do, you know, how do you move? How do you, you know, how do you have your drive? How do you have your catch, your recovery and so on? And this is possible because of the, you know, the fact that we actually analyze the video or how yes. do you move? And not just looking into the force that you produce while you're rowing. Yes. Exactly. And that's also one of the, the advantages of having the video is that you can monitor all the different parts of your body at the same time. Yep. Whereas with sensors, you would have to place sensor on each part of your body. Yes. And again, it's worth mentioning that after you get your metrics, you can go back and watch your own video. And yeah. then when you get the metrics, you can watch yourself literally and say, okay, I see what that means, I see where the problem is and so on. And if you're using just sensors, then you just get uh, curves, you get graphs, you get, you know, and you get graphs and curves and, and you know, and different like um, fancy analytics from us as well, but you also have them on top of your video. So you can, you can really combine those and see how each metric, each analysis correspond to a particular, you know, uh, part of your motion yeah. and, and you know, different strokes, different phases of the stroke and so on and so forth. Um, so we really, really believe that this is the future and we hope, you know, we really hope that the community will agree with us. But um, I think this is great. And currently there is nothing like this on the market. You know, it's just, as I said, you either get some of those metrics, but you don't know how you actually move. So it's very difficult to do this mind muscle connection. Yeah. Because you see the graphs, but you don't know how they, this corresponds to what you do as a motion. Or you get just, the, as we says, the kinetics, which is just all the force produced related metrics, such as, as we said, calories, um, you know, uh, distance passed, uh, and so on and so forth. So this is, I would say that the way we see it, everything else gives a very partial um, information and we're hoping to be able as we progress with our software to unite all those and allow athletes to have a more complete picture of of their training and their rowing and their technique and how can they prove it at the end of the yes. day because you know analytics without you know recommendation it's probably you know less valuable so to say all right uh well what do we have uh coming up so we actually have uh, a lot of things uh, in the pipeline currently and we are working on more metrics so currently we are working on oh, we're such geeks honestly <laughs> more stats more stats the you more... know what guys give us a shout out if there's any of you over there listening that there are such stats you know data geeks as we are please give us a shout out and tell us you know yeah but we're such geeks. It's just, it just, you know, when we talk about it, it just strikes me. I was like, oh my God, like, wow. But yes, sorry. St statistics are very important. And they're very and interesting, again, of course. There is a, there is a very important uh, uh, thing to mention. And what do they say? You cannot control what you cannot measure. Exactly, exactly. So first we need to do the measurement, but then we also need to see how to improve that measurement and how to actually improve our form based on that. Exactly. But yeah, so uh, the the next uh, metrics we want to implement are stroke length and seat timing. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also, because exactly we have the video, we can analyze the handle path. Yes, and that uh, differs, uh, I would say, significantly from people that row exclusively indoors and people that yes, you know, uh, more you know, more than on a machine row on on water. Yeah. So. Uh, then we also will have assessment of style, of rowing style. Yeah. And then later on, we will also be able to detect different mistakes. Yeah. And uh, some of those mistakes, and again, this is, as far as we know, not available in any other technology. And by mistakes, we mean, you know, all those things that beginners do, which is like, you know, start pulling with a, with a, you know, with their hands in the handle a little bit too early so they can't maximize the force produced by the legs, maybe not fully opening, um, you know, their legs or premature opening of the hip, yeah. which basically causes you to lose, uh, you know, some of this momentum and some of this force that is produced uh, in the drive by your legs. 
Um, yeah, uh, we can also have a look at stuff um, to see uh, and try to uh, guess whether you have issues with your hip and ankle mobility because, you know, you know very well you can get so much extra length in your catch position if you have a better ankle and hip mobility yep. and you can go a little bit more forward because this really, really increases your stroke length, which of course allows you to produce so much more force. Yeah. And again, because we have the video, we can literally see these kind of things, which yes. is not really possible with other type of technology. Indeed. Well, quite a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, we, um, we're super excited to, to be able to bring all this technology. And here we do a little shout to you guys. Um, please uh, do let us know, um, you know, what do you think is the most important metric? Uh, are we measuring those? Are we, um, you know, are we missing something? Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, have you heard before of any of those? Do you know what it means? Do you want us to do another episode of you know, just going through them and explaining how they affect your your rowing and your training and so on. Just let us know what you think. We're super excited to present you our technology and our application and all the exciting things that will be coming up. Yeah. So yeah, if you, as always, if you like that podcast, don't forget to subscribe, rate, review. Uh, and of course, you can go and check out our Facebook page, Form First, and our website, formfirst.app. Yeah, and, of, and course, of course, this podcast available on Spotify and Google Podcasts. Yeah, and YouTube, of course, as well. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Well, give us a shout. Let us know what you think. And yeah, feel free to connect with us because we want to hear from you. Well, that's all from us for today. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you next week. Thank you and bye. Bye.